All right, guys, welcome back to a new style of video for the channel. We're going to be going over some of the Paradox Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Um, we're going to go into the future ones today and then the past ones in a different episode. Uh, basically, once I get there on Pokemon Scarlet, we will look at them all then. I will show them all being caught and then we will go through them. So... Let's get into this. So the first Pokemon that we got is Iron Threads, which was the Titan Pokemon that you have to verse during the storyline. Um, not a bad looking Pokemon. Stats wise, it's very heavily like reliant on its defense, attack, and good speed, which obviously sounds great, but it's very weak to special type moves. So it's got a HP of 90, an attack of 112. A defense of 120, special attack of 72, special defense of 70, and an overall speed of 106. Now, looking at the highest base stat based on nature, I'd be running a speed nature with a lower special attack, but you're never going to use a special attack with this Pokemon. Looking at its moves, it does mostly get ground and steel type moves like heavy slam you've got stomping tantrum bulldoze i do believe you can tm earthquake i think i did see that earlier i hope i did yeah you can tm earthquake on it so that's not a bad idea to do it's typing is ground steel so look at them type of kind of move you are going to be looking good however from a defensive point of view, uh, you do get a Volt Switch, which is a bit different. Obviously, with Terrestrialization, it is a lot easier to move on from one Pokemon to the next. You get Substitute as a TM as well, which is good. Um, if you wanted it to be a Stealth Rock setter, it can be. Um, does it look, doesn't it actually protect? Surely not. I oh, know it doesn't protect. So it's not that bad defensively because you can just. Um, you can use like Bulldoze to lower the speed start of the other Pokemon over on the other side, protect. Obviously, Stealth Rocks if you're looking to get that chip damage off, which would be a good play. Um, and then also, if you really wanted to and you wanted to get a lot of attacks off, you could Terrestrialize into a Rock type and use. Um, what's it got? I had it there somewhere. Rock slide, I believe it also learns um Stone Edge, so it's not a bad Pokemon to have. Um, a total base stat of five seventy, so just below a pseudo. Um, weaknesses of fire, water, fighting, ground. Quite a lot of weaknesses. However, also has a few uh, resistances as well, so it's not that bad. Um, not a bad Pokemon to be putting on your team. Obviously, we killed ours in the series, which wasn't great. Um, next, we have Iron Moth, which is the future form of Volcarona. Um, let's go down to its base stat. So, its base stat total is 570. I'm guessing all Paradox Pokemon will have around 570. I'm guessing. Um, HP of 80, attack of 70, defense of 60, a super high special attack of 140, a high special defense of 110, and also a speed of 110. So this would be a great one to have on your team. What typing is it? Fire Poison. Well, that's different. Um, what is its weaknesses? So it has a 2 times weakness for water. Four times weakness to ground, two to psychic, two to rock. That's not too bad. It's obviously it's got quite a few weaknesses, but you can get around that. Um, it does learn a lot of bug type moves, which unless you're going to have it the terror type, not really the best kind of thing to have on it. However, it does learn. Uh, fiery Dance, which obviously boosts the user's special attack stat when used. Um, morning Sun, not really that interested, unless you're going to have Sunny Day. Does it learn Sunny Day? 
Um, not as a not as a level up move, so maybe not the best, but it does learn overheat. Now you might if you have fiery dance and overheat, if you really wanted to risk it. I wouldn't. Um from a protection standpoint, it learns protect. It Oh, it learns flame charge as a TM. That would be good to raise its speed. So obviously it does have quite a high speed stat anyway. Um, sunny day, so it does learn sunny day if you really wanted to run sunny day and morning sun. Um, learns Venom Shock via TM as well. Light screen. That would be a definite go on. I'd like um, the physical one. I can't remember what it's called. When I figure it out, I will uh, get back to you. However, it does learn Substitute, which is good. Toxic Spikes, so could be a support type Pokemon with its high speed stat. You could use Substitute. Hopefully, you get hit by a special special move. So, if you Light Screen, Substitute, and then Toxic Spikes, trying to get that off with then like one move. So, you could use like Flame Charge or um, Fiery Dance. Just to get your attack going up, plus also helping the field out. Um, a terror type. It learns a lot of bug type moves. So you would most likely run a, a bug type or something that is weak. So it's obviously four times weak to ground. It doesn't learn any ground type moves. I don't believe. So going to that would only help out if you wouldn't. So I'd go to flying. Really, if you know your weakness is going to be ground, you could go to flying, which isn't affected by ground, and negate the two times weakness, but obviously gaining the new ones from um, the terror type. However, for that first type of for that first move, you should be okay. Um, other than that, there's none really that I'm still trying to figure out the. Physical attack blocker. Reflect. That's the one. Reflect would be better with its low defensive stat. A very low defensive stat actually is 60. And if you really wanted to, and you just wanted to have sub, light screen, toxic spice, and then a move that's going to hit hard, you could have flare blitz. Um, for me though, I'd run it as support. In a du doubles battle. Um, yeah. So not a bad Pokemon. It's got high speed start. High special attack. It's physically. A tr like From a physical standpoint. Would just get demolished. So yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Which is Iron Hands. Which is the future form of Hariyama. Um, fighting and electric. Not a bad typing. Um, I'm going to change this up. I'm going to go for weaknesses first. So, it's weak to ground by two times, psychic by two, and fairy by two. That is a really good like mix of neutral and resistance over super effective. So, it has one, two, three, four, five resistances. And only one, two, three super effective types against it. So that's not a bad um, Pokemon at all. Let's take a look at his stats. It has a 154 base HP stat, which is very good. A 140 attack, also very high. You've got a 108 defense, which is decent enough. However, its special is where it really lacks. So 50 special attack, 68 special defense, and then a 50 speed so it's slow uh, especially not bulky at all you're just going to get demolished by even iron moth iron moth use an example very fast very specially like bulky and you're just going to get like absolutely demolished um does also have a base at 570 i think the tyranitar might have more eventually when we get to it, but 
I'm sure it will be because it's a um, pseudo legendary normally. So let's have a look at its move set. So it does learn Thunder Punch, which is a stab type move, uh, Force Palm, Seismic Toss, Wild Charge, Close Combat, Belly Drum. So its highest move it learns is Focus Punch now. Never going to use Focus Punch. I've never actually got a Focus Punch off. The only way to do it is to put your Pokemon, the other Pokemon to sleep and hope that it doesn't wake up. So, for me, that's a no-go. Um, to be honest, even its Terra type, I would probably just go to Electric. Then you only have the ground weakness, and if you if they haven't got a ground type move or ground type Pokemon, you kind of sorted. But I feel like in the new meta of competitive play, ground is going to be present in everyone's team. Because everyone is just going to go, ooh, can we just get an electric type Pokemon out? And it has no weaknesses. <laughs> so, you can see that being a big like strategy of just using electric type terror. Um, it has a lot of coverage moves, so it has like fire punch, ice punch... Drain Punch for HP regeneration, that is a big one. Uh, Stomping Tantrum for speed drops if you really need it. It learns Substitute. Play Rough. Um, Earthquake. These are all from TMs, by the way. Close Combat, Terror Blast. Not bad. So overall, not a bad Pokemon. Obviously, has a lot of resistances and not a lot of super effective moves against it. Uh, increases the user's highest stat by 30% while electric terrain is activated. Sorry, that's its ability. Or if the booster energy is attached. So, essentially, if you if it has a booster energy item, you'll have a 30% increase on the highest stat. At that point, you just have to go into attack, right? So, yeah, it could be a very good Pokemon. I think most of them have... Qu Quirk Drive, if I'm honest. But it'd be very interesting to see how good this this works. Because I reckon it'll be a bulky one to have on your team into competitive Pokemon. Obviously, you're not going to use many of these Paradox Pokemon. I can see them actually being banned. Um, so, we next move on to the Iron Jugulus, which is the future form of Hydreigon. Um, dark flying, so it lost its dragon typing. Um, from a move set, it's got dragon breath, which obviously it isn't a dragon. Um, hyper voice, crunch, snarl. Snarl's good to lower the special attack of other Pokemon in the team. Right, on the other side, dark pulse. High attack move, outrage, dragon pulse. Um, what's it learn as a TM? See, it mostly learns dragon type moves, which obviously it used to be a dragon type, but um, crunch. It all depends on its stats, doesn't it? So it's a five seventy overall base stats. It has ninety four HP, eighty attack, eighty six defense. A special attack of 122, special defense of 80, and a speed of 108. See, that's a lot more balanced, but only good in special attack and speed, really. I wouldn't even run it. I feel like it's too dragon orientated. Um, so you'd have to go terror type of dragon. And it's weak to electric, ice... Rock and Fairy. It's not too bad. But only has one, two... I don't know, actually has a lot of resistances. Resistance of Grass, Ghost, Dark, and then 0% from Ground and Psychic. Not a bad set of resistances. It all depends on if you're going to Terra-type into a Dragon. To make use of all the dragon type moves it learns. Which would most likely make a lot of sense. 
But then you need it to be special attacks, not attacking moves. So you've got like Outrage, which you wouldn't use. You wouldn't use Dragon Tail unless you really wanted to swap someone out. Um. Yeah, to be honest, other than Dragon Breath, I probably wouldn't use... Oh, you get Dragon Pulse as well. I still probably wouldn't use it. It's a very balanced Pokemon, so it'd be good to have in the back as like a spare Pokemon if you were getting beat in like a game of three. But other than that, can't really see it being that useful. Okay, the Tyranitar, so Iron Thorns, which is a rock electric type. I can see this being not great. So, let's start with its resistance, uh, resistances and super effective moves against it. So, it takes double damage from water, grass, fighting, and that's it. It takes four times damage to, from ground, but then its resistances are normal, fire, electric, poison, flying, and everything else is neutral. It's not too bad, it just balances itself out a little bit. Um, coverage moves, so it learns Rock Throw, good move to hit, um, use its Stab, Rock Slide, hits both opposing Pokemon and can cause a flinch, so that's also not too bad. Um, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, great Rock type moveset. Uh, on the Electric side, it learns Thunder Fang, good. Uh, wild Charge, uh, what's it learn as a TM for electric? Charge Beam, that's not going to be important. Thunder Fang, obviously. Volt Switch, also not really that important. It learns Thunder Punch, that's a good one. Um, Electro Ball, you're never going to be faster, so not really a point. Learns Thunder Wave, so it can be used as a support. Eerie Impulse, once again, support. Can learn Stealth Rock, Thunderbolt, Electric Terrain. You know what, it wouldn't be that bad. Um, all depends on its stats though, which we'll have a look at in a sec. Um, also, it learns like Fire Fang, Ice Fang, so it does have quite a good set of coverage moves across the board. For defense wise, it learns Protect, it's learn Sub. No, it does learn Swords Dance to help itself out. Spikes. Oh, it does learn Sub. That's good. Iron Defense. So, good set of coverage moves and good set of stat upgrading moves for any battles you'll be doing. Um, base stat wise. So, <laughs> has 100 HP, 134 attack, 110 defense. 70 special attack, 84 special defense, and 72 speed. I think that's actually a really good coverage because it's kind of like a balance on special defense. So it's not overly done on attack, but also has good bulk in special defense. So it would take a, at least one attack. And um, does it have any four times? I think it did, didn't it? Yeah, so it, it would, if it got hit by a ground type move, it probably would lose like earth power. It would most likely get killed from that, but other than that, you should be surviving one move. Um, I definitely have it on the team. It just depends on the opponent you'll be versing in a battle. For any normal Nuzlocke, that kind of thing, this Pokemon will rinse for it because you can have a good setup of it. Um, once again, though, you could go a flying type Terror with Terror Blast. At least then you've you get rid of that four times ground um, stab, basically, against you. And then you kind of block it all together. But then you are weak to rock and electric. So you would have to be willing to sacrifice that. could also be like a little trick. So you could be like, oh, don't use Terra type here. And then when you see him bring out a ground type, Terra type to, uh, to flying, boom, sorted. Right, two more Pokemon to go. So we have Iron Bundle, which is the future form of Delibird. 
Now, apparently Deli Bird's broken from the videos I've been watching, so let's go straight down to its stats. So it has 56 HP, 80 attack, 114 defense, 124 special attack, 60 special defense, and 136 speed. So it's only good physically from a defensive point of view. Special attack wise, really good. Speed, really good. But it's HP and it's special defense. You are, it is literally a glass cannon. You are not getting more than one move with this. Uh, super effective moves, electric, grass, fighting, rock. With the resistances of ice and water. Is that it? Oh yeah, this this mon ain't surviving at all. Um, it's typing is ice water. So it does learn a good set of special water type moves. And ice type moves. So you've got ice beam, hydro pump, blizzard, water pulse. Chilling water. That's also good. That's one of the new moves in this game. Snowscape. That would increase your defense. That, so that. You'd probably have to run Snowscape. On this. If I'm honest. Does learn sub. So you could also use that. Um, I mean from my point of view. I wouldn't be using it. But apparently it does. It is OP. Because of it's speed and it's special attack. So you would hopefully outpace the Pokemon you're versing and do more damage and kill, basically. And then the final Paradox Pokemon, which is Gallade slash Gardevoir. They're kind of a mix of both. Um, let's have a look at its stats. So this is base stats of 590. I think this is the first Paradox Pokemon that is above 570. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah. I feel like that might be an error on the site that I'm currently looking at. But you never know. So let's go with it anyway. So the current, like the stat total on here is 74 HP, 130 attack, 90 defense. 120 special attack, 60 special defense, and 116 speed. I'd say this is a good Pokemon. Very high on both attacks. High speed. Okay, defense. Special defense, you are looking weak. That is the only thing. So it's a fairy fighting type, which I believe is new. Um, What are its times two? So it's double. It would take super effective moves against poison, flying, psychic, steel, and fairy. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, res resist, double resist dark, bug, normal resist fighting, and then zero from dragon, obviously from the fairy. Um. Don't know about this. Let's have a look at its moveset anyway. So it learns Dazzling Gleam, so it has a 120 special attack, so that's not too bad. Uh, Moonblast as well, also not bad. Um, fighting type, you've got Quick Guard. Is it, oh, Quick Guard and Close Combat, that's the only things it moves fighting wise on level up. That's not great. Does it learn anything via TM though? So it learns low kick, Brit Break, Drain Punch. Drain Punch is what I'd be using here because you are specially defensive low, but you have a high attack. Uh, Fairy Wise, Misty Terrain. Um, it's not. Because of its moveset, it ain't the best. It does have a quite a good um, move pool, as in coverage. So you've got fighting, psychic, normal, bug, ghost, dark, rock. 
So you've got a good set of overall coverage. And obviously you've got Terra. You've got Terra Blast to cover the weaknesses you've got. But it doesn't have one times four, does it? No. So you should be okay. You you take a hit. Maybe not a special type, but you'd take a hit anyway. So would it be on the team? I'd say yes. So the Pokemon out of these I'd take on the team would be I would take Iron Threads. Um But there's a lot more attack, so I'd probably take Iron Moth for its special attack and speed. Iron Hands just for its HP and high attack, so you should and high defense, so you should be okay. I wouldn't take Iron Jugulus, even though it is a quite well rounded Pokemon. I'd be taking the Tyranitar on the team. Uh, what's it called? Iron Thorns. Iron Bundle would not be making my team. And Iron Valiant, I would say yes. It all depends on the fight you'd be doing. Because it's got a low special defensive stat. So you'd have to up that somehow. But anyway guys. That is where I'm going to leave this episode. I hope this has been informative. If Leave a comment if so. And how I can improve these in the future. So thank you all for watching. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.